Yeah, a really good win against um, a very good side that I think have been playing some really good cricket and look like they're enjoying themselves as well. So I think to come out and, and be as dominant as we were in the end was great. But yeah, you're right, it was a tough start. Um, I thought we sort of held um, pretty gritty through the middle there and then um, both Talia and, and particularly Ash at the end to finish the way that we did just gave us that momentum and, and a really competitive total, which um, yeah, turned out to be, be a winning one. It said about the wind and the conditions here in Wellington. How did you make it um, batting out there in the, in the windy Wellington? Oh, I think from a batting perspective, it's it doesn't really um, phase us. I mean, it just means you probably target one end over yeah. the other, and that's not the, the worst thing. Um, you know, there's a bit of a slope on the ground too, and I think that's a factor. Um, but, you know, in general terms, I think... Like the wicket's a really good wicket. Um, it's a pretty quick outfield, and you're rewarded for shots regardless of the wind, particularly if you play along the carpet. What did you? How did you find batting out there with Talia? There was one point where she actually hammered one straight back at your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It took me a couple of uh, deep breaths to regain some, like, some composure after that. But uh, no, Talia's just playing you know, the cricket of her life at the moment, and it's wonderful when you're out there down the other end watching. Uh, just the confidence that she has in her ability and the way that she came out and just took the game on. From the start, we desperately needed that. Um, yeah, and so it was really cool to see her do that. So, yeah, what were you guys chatting about out in the middle? I mean, yeah, she came in at a pretty, as you said, a pretty crucial juncture of the game. Yeah, well, not too much. I think, like, Tal's so clear on, on her strength and strengths and where she wants to go. Um, I thought she capitalised on anything full incredibly well. Um, you know, I was sort of obviously set, so I was able to kind of like work around the strike and then have a bit of a go when the ball's in my area too towards that at the end. So um, I think we worked pretty well. And um, as I said, it's just really nice being up the other end. And Ash Gardner, that was pretty ridiculous without even considering that she came out of quarantine yesterday. I bet you guys enjoyed watching that from the dugout. Oh, without that, Ash is such a weapon for us, um, particularly in that last 10 to 15 overs. Um, and she consistently does it. Um, I think, you know, from a batting perspective, the wind really played into her hands today, but it was also just really clean hitting. Um, you know, she probably showed just how excited she was to be out of quarantine, but to, to do that after 10 days of relatively no nothing, and also recovering from mm. you know, pretty nasty illness. Um, did Ash say she was feeling 100%? Like, was she when coming back to the group yesterday? Was she feeling all good? Uh, I assume so. She had a big smile on her face, um, and I think she's pretty chuffed to be around. Um, a group of human beings again so yeah I mean she trained really well yesterday and um, yeah I'm not surprised she performed the way she did today but it's still a, a huge effort. How much of a lift did that give you guys heading into the Yeah look I think it was a really crucial win today um, as I said like New Zealand have been playing some great cricket and and you know look really good as a unit um, but yeah this comp um, yeah, this or this World Cup, I must say, like it's so competitive, and there's so many good teams and teams playing great cricket. Um, so it's nice to start in Wellington with a win. Um, we've got a big game against the West Indies, um, but yeah, to be three and zero at the start of the comp, having played some some pretty good cricket, is great. Did you have a pretty good view of Beth Mooney's catch at second slip? Uh, yeah, I was down at deep third, so I did have a good view. I actually thought I was going to be trotting around to field it, and then, then she plucked it out of the air. So, yeah, there were some really good um, good efforts in the field too, some, some good catching in general. Um, yeah, and those kinds of moments are just so key, I think, in a competition like that. If you can create them and, and hold on to those chances, um, it just puts you in a really nice position. Allegiance inside, would you rate Beth? Catch high or not a green catch high? <laughs> um, well, I got a good view of both of them, to be fair. Um, different kinds of catches, I suppose. Um, yeah, that was a great stare from Maddie. I, um, I felt really confident that I'd actually got enough of it and it didn't get anywhere near the rope. And, um, and then, yeah, Moons is, I think, you know, the reaction time on that um, and the athleticism there too. Like, they're both great. I probably can't split them. Um, but, you know, Moons is an Aussie, so <laughs> go Moons. <laughs> And Darcy Brown, you were doing her bowling together at the start there. Yeah. How's it been like having Darcy come into that bowling group? Yeah. And the same with Tina as well, like you and Shira having a Yeah, I, I thought Darcy bowled especially well today down down the slope like that. Um, it brings in so many modes of dismissal. She obviously got the court behind with some outswing, but also like sort of bringing the ball and um, back in and straightening up for LBW shouts. It's just brilliant. And that extra pace just pace makes it just that little bit harder. So that's the best she's bowled definitely since we've been here. It was really cool. Like she's just such a great character to have out the field. She 
is so cool and uh, just kind of does her thing. Yeah. Um, so that was awesome. And then, yeah, I mean, a slightly different role today for Shooter, but just, you know, as always, she's the ultimate professional and came in and, and did a great job and, and team happens. So she's probably the most confident cricketer in the group um, in a very non-arrogant way. She just has a lot of um, purpose to what she's doing and knows exactly what she's doing. So, yeah, it's, I think the bowling group can really be close. It was about a year ago that we saw Darcy making her debut for the Aussies over here. How much have you seen her evolve in that, in that year that she's been around the group? Yeah, I mean, she's obviously got incredibly raw talent and, and that kind of pace. And, and if you mix that with some, some swing, um, you know, it's a great weapon in the game. Um, you know, I think she's still sort of learning her craft, but she does it in such a, you know, um, nonchalant and... Um, cool way that I don't think you know whether she has a good day or a bad day it's not going to phase her um, so yeah I mean she's exceptional and I, you think about some of the young players coming through that aren't here as well because of injury or whatnot um, it's pretty exciting um, I know Benny Sawyer is probably looking his lips looking at the pay stocks in Australia and uh, he's got one of the best jobs in the country I reckon and we've been here for over a month now Pez what have you been doing away from cricket to enjoy your time a bit of, a bit of skateboarding bike riding <laughs> yeah I've been getting around on a few different kinds of wheels um, <laughs> I rode down to Bell Sutherland in to a few bike rides early on in Christchurch on some nice rail trails which is cool I've got a skateboard here so that kind of takes me from A to B at times um, and yeah just some of the scenery is magnificent um, it's nice that we move around I think Mount Monganui was an absolute dead set hit for everyone. We stayed right on the beach and pretty much in the surf if we were um, training or playing or at a cafe. So, yeah, the lifestyle was pretty good. Um, yeah, and everyone's having, having a really 